Welcome to the podcast, episode five, the back to school edition. Gentlemen, now we've been together all day long, so we know how everybody's doing, but for the audience, how's everybody doing? Ready to go, man. Rock and roll. Let's do it, bro. All right. Uh, Yeah, ready. For uh, ready, to stay back. Kinda, it has. Curious to see what everything looks like, how everybody is. You know, been a while since we've been back to school, and kind of excited and curious, and kind of worried, and all all the feelings and emotions. Boring. <laughs> but I will tell you, the best feeling in the world is that bog reunion. Oh yeah, and now. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we plan on we plan on building walls. Okay. Yeah. We took we took what uh you know has been going on uh, south the south border, and we thought why not build our own wall, right? So that's going up. Be ready for that bog country. Walls are going up. The Great Wall of Bog, is what we're gonna call it. You got to so, pay the bog toll if you want yeah. it. If you want to get. Well, if you want to get where you're going, I'm not going to say what I said earlier. So you got to play, you got to pay the bog, the bog toll. Um, We got some, we got some new segments tonight. Uh, We have our first ever guest on the podcast. Um, So we are, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a good, a good night. So let's get started with a little head to head action. Um, guys, I've got some tense topics to talk about. Hey, hold on. Before we get into this, we need to take our own head to head picture, don't we? I, yeah, I think like yeah. we need to, now that we're kind of getting it, you know, back to school and we're around each other, like this, this picture needs to go. We need to have a trifecta. An overhead. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. A bunch of eggs. Yeah. Let's, let's do it. So we <laughs> look for that next week, you know, we, just white circles. I'll look yeah. good. I just noticed that this picture is covered in a watermark. Nothing says we you, spent you, a lot of time. Together. You got cheap on us, okay? I'm sorry. You, guys <laughs> you, couldn't, even pay, you couldn't even pay the 50 cents to actually get it without the watermark. I'm giving him credit. I'm, give, I'm trying to broaden this guy's uh, photography <laughs> company. And then we got a random bald eagle at the bottom. Like I don't know where that where that really goes in into this segment. <laughs> head, head, bald. I don't know. Yeah. Nathan says uh, we spent a lot of time on this, like the water. <laughs> 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 All right. So um, a little background on our first head to head. When I first graduated from college, I had a roommate, my lifelong friend, uh, Sean. Shout out to Sean because I know he follows. The, well, we're doing the, shout outs. Podcast. Now. Sean, Sean is not bald. Sean's not bald. Well, hey, Sean, get out of here with your Sean, hair. Sean, what up, man? <laughs> no. Hey, buddy. Well, I already don't like you, Sean. I'm sorry. Shave <laughs> your head. Maybe you'll be a likable guy. At that maybe, point. maybe you'll be a likable guy. It's just where guy. we're at in the world. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, really. You, he won't have to pay the toll <laughs> if he shaves his head. But one of the things that we had a thing about was this first one so head to head do you prefer overhead lighting or side lighting okay so we're talking about lamps now now we kind of got a sneak peek at this one and and we kind of had some questions so are we talking just in general overhead lighting or are we talking specifically fluorescent lights like what you would get in a school or a classroom setting we are talking any kind of overhead lighting like it can have a regular bulb in it sure it's just mounted to the ceiling okay i know what i'm gonna go with here okay i'm gonna go with side lighting okay and and here's my main thought behind this okay because you're an idiot 
Is that what <laughs> it is? You're, of the ball. you're an absolute <laughs> idiot. Is that, is that what we're going with? What? Because that's the only logical explanation for you picking side lighting, first of all, okay? Before we even get into this, you are an idiot. I can't believe you would even say side lighting. It's obviously overhead lighting. Eat a, eat a butt. How about that? How about that? All right. You got it on your system? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling better. I Listen, I, I sat there and you just took it like a champ last week. I embarrassed you. Yeah. I, I looked like an, a, an, a buffoon. If you get your ego back now, all right? He did look like a buffoon. He did. <laughs> ego is not your amigo, okay, buddy? Oh, true. That's true. Side, back to the topic, okay, before <laughs> I was still rudely interrupted. Side lighting. Because as a member of the bog, I know that overhead lighting does nothing but cast a horrible glare mm. off of my dome-shaped head. Yep. Side lighting allows me to get a nice little profile of my face. Look at this profile. Pretty nice yeah. from the side, you know, off the top here. I got a kind of a, a, a schnoz, light casts a shadow down. It's not a good look for me. Side lighting is, is definitely a, a, is better for, for me and my uh, beautiful looks. I would agree. Um, in addition to the fact that side lighting keeps the glare off the dome, it also is a little softer and it makes the room feel cozier. It's like call me. You have right now. What's that? Yeah, side lighting you have right now with that lamp in the back. Cool, classy. Just classy. Just call me. It's whatever. Now allow me to allow me to really jump on this fence here for a second and just kind of <laughs> just imagine kinda, that. Like, imagine that he's gonna ride the fence. Kinda, whoa, whoa! We'll just Are sit you, on top of there. I think you're jumping on it with no feet. That's what I think. You're <laughs> I was, I was, I was completely convinced it was going to be side lighting for me until we took out the stipulation of fluorescent lights. Now, if we if we were just looking at overhead lighting as fluorescent lighting, that's a hundred percent. I'm going side lighting. I'm going lamps. Okay. If I could have a classroom um, full of lamps, shout out to Miss Adams uh, back in high school. She was my chemistry and uh, physics teacher. Yeah. Very hippie-ish. Uh, had this whole philosophy of overhead lighting and fluorescent lighting kind of brings you down and, and makes a negative environment. So she had like 20 lamps in her classroom. And like it was the weirdest thing, but it was also the coolest thing at the same time. Um, so I'm thinking I'm leaning towards side lighting. Uh, very, very indifferent. I like overhead lighting, though, in the sense that it, uh, it kind of uh, spreads the light more. You know, where, where do lamps normally end at, end up at along the walls, right? You, you know, you got plug-ins, you're not in the middle of the room with the light, like it would be overhead. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's where I'm kind of torn. I think I'm leaning side lighting. Uh, but you know, when things are against the wall, you're only getting one side of the light. So it's a little bit darker than I like sometimes, but anyways, that's true. Side lighting. I think we got three for, it's just better. It's yeah. just better. Yeah, I've got a little bit of both in my house, and oh, and, shocker! In the, in, in the like places that I end up the most, like in our living room and in our our bedroom. Obviously, we got lamps. So what do you have in the foyer? Leaning. Huh? What do you have in the foyer? Well, in the courtyard, we do a oh, lot of. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> what about the fifth and sixth bedroom? What do you got in those? We went ahead and just we bought a sun. <laughs> like an actual like the star i guess it's a star the sun is just there, a dumb huh? thing but yeah we just bought a star and just you know kind of we let it orbit around the house every now and then wow so orbits around the house so you're literally when we say it's around the house it orbits around the house you know what I'm <laughs> so so you and mallory and cameron are literally baking in your own house well, I mean, it's either that or, you know, I got to go outside to get my son. And this is just an easier way to get my vitamin D, you know? Okay. Okay. And side lighting. I mean, if it's orbiting around the house. Sure. It's not above. It's, it's not above. So it's side lighting. Next topic. I know my answer to this one. Floating in a pool or lounging in a hammock. Riggs, I know you said you kind of knew what you were going to go with here. 
Me? Yeah. Yeah, I, I am 100% on board with the lounging in a hammock vibe. Uh, mostly for the fact that, um, you know, as a, as a coach, we are outside constantly. Just constantly. When it's hot outside, I'm freaking just baking. When it's cold outside. But really what gets you is the summer heat. And especially being being a member of the bog and, and having the hair deficiency that I have, you know, boy, you got to take care of that scalp in the summertime. Yes. You make sure, got to make sure we have the hat. So for that reason, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 100% on the hammock train. Okay? Uh, wow, 100%? 100%. I like a pool right here. You guys know I'd love to have a pool in the old backyard, but wow, you know, something about being a hot on the on the on the pool floaty. You know that pool floaty gets a little hot, and you're out in the sun. And like I said, I'm just out there so much as it is. But a hammock is made to be in the shade. You know, hammocks hang from trees, and trees give you the shade. Or you can put a hammock underneath your your patio or something. You know, you, hammocks are made to be in the shade. And I think of colder weather with a hammock as opposed to hot i'm gonna get burnt because i'm pale and bald on the pool <laughs> floaty. i'm with rigs on this i'm a hundred percent on the hammock train for the same reasons one pools are fine but you're just floating around in a big cold bathtub oh man you are i don't I'm not a, I like I like the sun. It gives us life. Sure. But I don't I don't want to like lay out in it. I want to be under a tree. Honestly, some 60 or 70 degree weather, put a sweatshirt on, you lay in that hammock and just like curl up. Mm. What's better than that? Yeah. Yeah, listen guys. You know, here's the deal. Are we going to go another three for no, we're not, because it's not a hammock, it's a pool. What is okay. wrong with you? Because here's the deal. Here's the deal. Floating in a pool gives you a different option here. You guys are talking about, oh, it's so hot. Oh, this, oh, that. Guess what? Roll off the side of your floaty and get under the water, big guy. Get nice and cooled off, then climb back on top of the floaty, lay out some more and just, nice warm sun. And just and soak and just soak in everybody else's juices. You no, want me to just pool. soak in their juices? Private personal. No. So hold on, let's let me look at this real quick. And I believe it says head to head, lounging in a hammock or floating in a pool. We're not talking about swimming around and splashing around. And I got my pool floaties on. We look at me like you do. Okay, we're talking Why? about hey, floating. Put me on a floaty. Oh, I I could be in a hammock, and then next thing you know, I kind of roll off, and now I'm on a jet ski in the middle of the <laughs> ocean. And now you know, now ne next thing I know, I'm parasailing it. No, we're talking about the two specific events. Yes. Floating in a pool, not okay, swimming, all, well, floating in a pool, and lounging in a hammock. All right, fine. I'll uh, get on that I know you're a history teacher, but you would think you'd be able to read. He's got you there. I'll He's float got you there. My floating in the pool, and I'll stake my feet in the water. I'm oh, pretty okay. sure. There we go. Now, now listen, I'll listen to you. Like, so listen. you're gonna have you're gonna have cool feet, but the rest of you is gonna be baking. Then hold on, the... and then I'll take some water and splash it on me off the side. Just... Hey, I got an idea. You could float, and instead of hanging your feet in the water, just stick your head in it and just see see how long you can hold your breath. I, I, I'm pretty good. Well, I bet you can't go five minutes. That's a challenge. Huh? I can go till I pass out. <laughs> you won't. Golly. Changing the rules of the game to fit your argument, Q -Man. Well, Don't be here's mad. the deal. Because I picked something right and you guys are bubbling. No, 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 no. We're this not is what, no, 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 no. Page 315. This is what we're mad about. This is what we're mad about. There was a clear answer, and you picked the other answer to be different. No, yeah. I mean, just like I'm, just like you say, I am in changing the game up by saying, oh, well, I'm climbing the water. You're picking the weather to lounge in a hammock. Oh, when it's 60 to 70 degrees. You know when it's 60 and 70 degrees in Oklahoma? Never. It's never that weather. A it's few a days. A thousand or negative a thousand. A few days. You don't have the option. Oh, so you get two days in a hammock? How many days do you spend in a pool? I could spend a thousand days. 
When it's not there aren't that many days in the year. Now listen, your pool is a little four by eight foot pool, oh, and sorry. it's about six inches. Sorry. So you're talking about rolling off and splashing around. You roll off, you're gonna hit the bottom of the pool pretty quickly <laughs> and smack your shins on the concrete. Okay, buddy. So hey, listen, I really some of us aren't as well off as you. Okay, <laughs> that's Not true. Olympic pools that are twenty feet deep. All right, some of us have to well, do with what we have, which is know. not a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, yeah. be better. Terrible now. Be better. Luckily, we don't have to worry about this because some of us, some of us aren't the Rigsby's. Some of us don't live in a manor. Listen, ninety-nine percent of us. You know, he is the one percent. So. He is the one percent. Well, you know, audience, when the class war starts, you'll know. <laughs> we're meeting. We're meeting at Riggs's house. You'll know. Um, we got one more, one more a challenge on the old head to head. Okay. Um, a hotly contested one, I must say. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Because in theory, they're kind of the same thing. In Ooh, theory. Yeah. Easy. Hold on. In theory. No, you go first. We, me and Ray have gone first. You go first. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you, I love a good pancake. They're fluffy. They've they soak up all the the syrup and all the butter. But you have a couple of bites of pancake, and it feels like you've eaten like a box of sponges. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? I am not wrong. Waffles have the crunch, but they have the fluff. And the little, I don't know, what do you call those things? Pockets? Oh, the little what does pookets. a waffle have? Pookets. They have what? Little, little pookets. Yeah, they have little pockets. Little pookets. Little pookets. They, they let all the stuff sit. Yeah. But they also restrict all the like air space. So you've got a little more substance and a little less air. Plus, sure. you can put anything on a waffle. Peanut put butter. Fruit on a waffle. Peanut butter. Chef's yeah. kiss. You put peanut butter on a waffle. Chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Waffle or pancakes, you can do a lot with them, but you can't do as much as waffles, and they're less satisfying. Yeah, I'm going to hop in, Riggs. I'm going to agree with Sir James Helton. It's definitely waffles, you know? And, and you made some great points, Helton. What's worse? in this world than biting into a old syrup filled <laughs> pancake. That texture in your mouth feels like baby poop. Like mush, like it's pancake awful. mush. And you are right. The waffles have that nice crisp on the outside. Mm. They give you a little bit of a crunch. Uh, and, and what's great about waffles too, is you put that butter on top and you get the butter into some of them squares. Oh, yeah. You're guaranteeing yourself a bite of butter in each bite. On a pancake, that butter goes on top. It falls off the side. and do all, It's going all over the place. And my last major point really is, do they have uh, Lego my pancakes? No, they have Lego my Eggo waffles because America loves waffles. Pancakes remind me of another type of, uh, uh, of food. Uh, maybe you've seen them before. They're the really thin pancakes. Crepes? A clip? Crepes. And this is America, and we like freaking American food. Waffles, bro. I, th I think we got another three for boys. Uh, I mean, it's just the, the clear answer. We got, we got the texture that we like with the crispiness. Uh, you know, we, we got the, the little pocket, the flavor saver pockets, you know? You can just yes. – you can just, like, look at this picture right here. This is, what, this is what's kind of intriguing me. Um, you, you essentially got four pieces of the waffle, right? So we could, we could get four different toppings on top of one single, Woo! right? We Woo! could take a waffle With and a split it, and all of us have a little waffle. Wow. It's just made, it's just made, I mean, the little quarters that it's made, it, it reminds me of pizza. And I love me some pizza, oh. right? Made to slice, okay? Hey, Riggs, let yeah. me hear you real quick. Just real quick. Yeah. I'm going to tell you. 
you're killing it today, big guy. I just want to let you know. You are. I you really are. appreciate what you're doing right now. Hey. You're having a great day. Gosh. I, that, hey, I needed that. Hey, you know, I'm just letting you know. You know, I was kind of being <laughs> – I was very vengeful earlier, you know. and okay. uh, I deserved it, man. I you deserved definitely it. deserved it. Uh, I will say. Hey, that. whoa. Um, I don't need you to tell me I deserved it. I told you that. No, like, you definitely deserved it. Okay? <laughs> okay. And matter of fact, now that I think about it, I'm going pancakes. No, dude. Oh, no. whoa. No, Out of spite? It's Out of pancakes. spite? You don't have to do this. It's pancakes. Oh, I'm going to get waffle. You know when you go to IHOP, you, is it never-ending uh, waffles? No, it's never-ending pancakes. Whoa. I don't want to eat a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, you know what I'm going to get? Pancakes, because they will freaking bring me pancake after pancake after pancake. If I go to IHOP and order a waffle, I get one stinking waffle. Are I'm going to tell you something. You I'm going to tell you something. I don't like your attitude. I don't like your attitude. No. Listen, I just had it. Like, you know what? Riggs, come back. Riggs, it's not the same. Please, Riggs. You're lucky. There he is. The fans need me, okay? If it wasn't for you guys, these other ones down here that are on my – they're over here on me, you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'd be out. Listen. Well, waffles. It's waffles. Is, it's waffles. He's okay. back, baby. This is a – this is a – this is a bald brotherhood. We cannot – we cannot let waffles and pancakes – just like – And spite. <laughs> it can't be torn apart. Okay. Yeah, I need. Now, I think we need the breathing technique. Pull. Yeah. <sighs> I feel better. I do. I do too. That was that was good. That was needed. Yeah. Um, I gotta tell you, it's time for a new segment. A hey. new segment. It's called breaking the law, breaking the law, breaking the law. And we've got our first guest, a brother of the bog. What is up? We have What's up, dude? Zach Ramsey. What is up, Zach? <laughs> Top of the afternoon to y'all. How do you gallery the... Uh... There should be a little button over there. Yeah, it's just oscillating between people right now is it that one no it's not that one somebody would show up a little bit more prepared than this you think a guy with a law degree could figure out zoom <laughs> i don't know well i've only had to use zoom a couple times whenever i was first appearing for court on it but i haven't used it since then right. uh okay there we go <clears throat> perfect all right hey, now let me ask you zach is that freshly that's fresh cut huh oh I, yeah i shaved this morning, actually. Yeah. Hey. Now this, Wait, this takes us back. There's some overhead lighting I see. There's oh yeah, it's flaring lighting. directly off of it. Well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so problem. wait, is this? I shaved today. You shaved today. Cole shaved today. Riggs, did you shave today? No. Double on there. Uh, three no. for four. That's that's not too bad. That's not too bad. I'm going to fresh cut it tonight for tomorrow. So Okay. Okay. That's fair. We'll all be looking clean cut tomorrow. That will be nice. For uh, Zach, well, welcome on, man. You know, just like, I'll give Zach a quick intro here. Zach uh, is my brother. Zach's a graduate from uh, the University of Oklahoma and, the, and uh, the law school at the University of Oklahoma as well. Uh, Zach is uh, currently a public defender. In, the, in what county is that, Zach? Custer County? Custer, yeah. Custer County, Oklahoma. He lives in Weatherford. He is also uh, not uh, not only being our uh, bog brother, but he is my blood brother as well. So I'm sure he has yeah. lots of terrible things to tell <laughs> about me. So we're going to try and make sure we keep him busy with the real important questions here. We, we should. And I want to start off by asking Zach, um, so tell us about growing up with Cole. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Uh, so growing up with Cole, it, it was kind of a, it was a mixed experience because for most of my life, you know, I was bigger than Cole was. You know, I, I played offensive line whenever we were in high school and he was just a small, what, 130 pound receiver or something like that. Okay, so, uh, you know, I, I had the size advantage for most of my youth. Uh, Cole had the, what I want to call the rage advantage. Like <laughs> Cole could freak out over the, you know, the smallest of things. And, you know, we've got, Lots of uh, PS3 controllers that could tell you that. 
Uh, but yeah, you know, it, it didn't. You know, growing up, you know, he didn't actually get bigger than me. You know, like buff, buff wise, until you know he became a coach and started getting the chance to work out every single day. So, you know, it, it was kind of a mixed bag. I mean, you know, rage problems aside, Cole's you know the best big brother that you could ever imagine. But uh, you know, he, he has his moments when. Uh, <laughs> Some stuff can go down, I, I guess I could say. But, uh, yeah, it, he's the best big brother I could Im ever uh, possibly imagine in my particular life. I'm sure everybody else says that about theirs, but it's true for me. Oh, see, that wasn't too bad, Cole. It could have yeah. been worse. No, we're good. Let's, let's go. Let's just go Yeah, on. it could have been worse. Okay, <laughs> so. I'm all right. We, uh, as a public defender, we have some questions for you. Um, we need that. Now, now, Helton, I, here's the cat. Oh, there's oh, a cat. Um, he just saved that cat. Gonna turn into, to, is this going to turn into like a hypothetical thing? Like, <laughs> I'm just saying. Because every time I'm around if, Aaron and if, all of our friends, it turns into, <laughs> hey, what, what would this be under the law? This is going to be something <laughs> poignant to me, right? Like, I don't want to have to answer those kinds of this things. Is, um, this is more of a, uh, you know, if we were to find ourselves in these sorts of situations, how would you defend us? Yeah, but that's that's basically what we always do. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but actually, we want to know we want to know a little bit more about you. And obviously, this is a um, a podcast about bald guy issues. So the first issue, um, you know, just ballpark it. What percentage of crimes do you think are committed by bald men? Great question. Uh, rather, a rather small percentage. Um, I think so. Yeah. I would think, you know, I, if I had to guess, I'd probably say around ten to fifteen. Yep. And most oh, of yeah. those that are committed by Baldwin would probably be property crimes, um, because you know it seems like with you know the people that I represent, and, and I've always noticed this too. A lot of the felons that I represent that have been convicted before have like decent looking girlfriends, and you know they have decent looks have nice hair things like that and you know i just compare that to myself because you know i don't have any hair now but back when i did have hair i was just like what the heck but uh <laughs> yeah I, I'd, I'd probably pretty small percentage if i had to guess probably 10 15 percent sounds to me like you can't trust a guy with hair that's exactly oh, what, the, what the upshot is here <laughs> i would i would agree and what a waste to have looks and hair and just throw it throw it all away well, if you think you can get away with it, you know. I guess. Now, um, now, Zach, when you say you know, ball guys are committing property crimes, what what's the what are some examples of property crimes? Like uh, you know, so, you know, property crimes like you know, petty larceny. Oh, petty larceny. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know, larceny of controlled dangerous substances. Who hasn't, who hasn't done that? You know. Yeah, that's it. Very, yeah, I mean, we all have. Very normal like kids Kit Kat in my pocket right? when I was at the gas station this morning. So. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> accident. Come on. I assume we're mostly committing white collar crimes, actually, you know, embezzlement, insider trading, successful really think guy crimes. We're probably sticking it to the man most of the time. Yeah, for That's sure. For sure. Um, the next one, you know, we're going to ask you some hard hitting questions. And the uh, next one, what percentage of your clients are bald men? Not a lot of them. Uh, maybe 5%. I don't wow. I very rarely come across any bald guys. Um, you know, there, there's there are few and far between, but there are a couple of them. Why but, do you think uh, that is, Zach? What do I think that is? Is the system rigged for bald guys or against bald guys? Uh, if anything, it's for just given, you know, how few of them I see, if I had to guess. Um, but, you know, like, like I said, you know, there's no stereotype of a criminal, but – you know, given a lot of the crimes that are prosecuted out here, you know, I would just have to guess that it's, you know, generally more people that aren't bald. Mm. Now, Zach, in your experience, do you think, do you think that percentage is so low because bald guys are smart enough not to get caught? Or is it because bald guys are just great people and we don't commit crimes for the most part? Uh, well, I wouldn't say that any of my clients are smart enough to not get caught. Ugh, um, good point. <laughs> so you're clients for a reason, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, they, they can get caught on, or they can manage to not get caught on other things, but that might be because I'm telling them to not say anything about certain things. 
Um, you know, there's, there's different ways that attorneys approach that kind of thing. Like whenever you got a client that they've got an open investigation on whenever they're in custody, um, you know, some lawyers will tell them, hey, let's talk to them so we can get a better deal. Um, that does not happen. Like if, if you go tell them, hey, I stole this, this, and this from this particular date, they're not going to cut you a deal where they agree not to prosecute it and then do it like that. And, you know, the thing that I try and impress upon my clients, if anything else from everybody who watches this, you are under no obligation to talk to the police. So don't do it because you're not going to win. If you go in and talk to them, you're probably going to accidentally incriminate yourself, even though you don't mean to. So you don't really have that much to gain. You know, like I said, Sometimes you can cut a deal where it says, hey, if you admit that you did this, then we won't prosecute it. But that doesn't happen unless you have a lawyer and honestly a decent enough lawyer who's going to be able to make a deal happen. Because, you know, whenever they investigate these open crimes, they're looking for it's usually things that are stolen and they're looking for, you know, restitution for the victims or something like that, which means they have to either add it to your case now or file another case and do it against you. So you're not really putting yourself in a win-win situation right there. Plead the fifth. Exactly. Yeah, you're under no obligation to help the cops do anything. Even though they might promise you, hey, we'll go easy on you. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Don't believe them when they say that. Please, please, please. Guys, that's advice for all of you with hair and without hair. Mm -hmm. That was a freebie. That was yeah. a freebie. You're gonna bill us that one's free. Or? The next one's going to cost you, though. <laughs> get that wallet out Aaron. huh get your wallet up you got to cover for us yeah oh uh, y'all are good we've got our agreement remember remember <laughs> well let's say that we do get ourselves um into some legal trouble so um i just want to point to a, a particular law um, in the great state of Michigan. In Michigan, a woman's hair legally belongs to her husband. Um, is it legally defensible? Could you cite precedent uh, to cut someone's hair to fashion a toupee? Preferably a woman. Hmm. Are you implying that the husband is cutting the woman's hair in that scenario? Yes, and then giving it to me. Uh, well, if her hair is his property then yeah you don't need a defense you know under the law you can do whatever you want to it apparently well only if i do it in michigan yeah yeah but only in michigan um if you're anywhere else uh that defense probably isn't gonna fly um uh, <laughs> i'd say something about you know the first amendment well yeah first amendment maybe like freedom of expression or something like that if you're oh. trying to make a political point by doing it yes. but i think that that's you know kind of a long road to <laughs> justify your actions by but that's about the only thing i could think of right now so so hold on so i could walk into work tomorrow shave someone's head against their will and then claim i was making a political statement and and say it's protected free speech? I mean, at the point that you batter somebody and touch them, I think that that defense might, you know, evaporate on itself. But Damn. yeah, Helton, you can get arrested for whatever you want and put whatever defense up you want too. So there's never been a case where they've said that. Yours might be the case of first impression. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a good start. <laughs> Riggs, you're very quiet. I said you could be in a textbook someday. I could. We've been waiting for a bald guy to be in a textbook. Mm -hmm. We yeah. have. Um, let's bring it a little closer to home. In Mesquite, Texas, it is illegal for children to have unusual haircuts. Do you think complete baldness is legally an unusual haircut? Uh, I don't care what definition the legislature set out for what an unusual haircut is. Um, no is not going bald is a choice that you have uh, it's quite common and honestly let's be honest here everybody objectively it looks the best oh the yeah best haircut that you could ever have and that's not up for debate i don't care what legislators in texas are saying it's not this look we got going on all three of us mm. it's the best 
Yep. Pretty, Thank pretty you. good one. Thank hey, you heard it straight. That's, that's legal talk right there. This it's, is legally the best look. It's the law. It is the law. Yep. You can't fight it. Indeed. It's a textbook definition. Mm. Well, I don't have any other unusual laws. Bog, do you have legal questions about baldness? <clears throat> well, you know, Zach, I'll be in touch with you. So, you know, some stuff happened the other day, and, uh, you know, I'm going to need you here pretty soon. So just – We'll we'll talk gotcha. off we'll talk off here. Uh, just just so anyway, sure I, sure. I got to remind everybody. Um, you know, as a lawyer, um, if I have a client, our communication is privileged, right? So I can't go post that on Facebook or whatever. Uh, what most people don't know is that even with a prospective client, with somebody that I might not even represent, if that you know if it's even under the guise of representing somebody, then I still can't um disclose that information it's still privileged so even though i don't represent you you can still tell me stuff uh, i'm not going to go tell all your friends about it or anything like that i would never do anything like that um but yeah so just just understand that about attorney client privilege it applies to potential clients also now zach that attorney client privilege you're talking about is that is that kind of like a, a priest and a, a member from his church like do you are you going to tell aaron to say a couple of hail marys and Bless them and say, see you later. You're good to go. You'll be free. Or what? what's the, the next step? I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to tell them to do that. Um, if it makes you feel better, I guess we could. Um, but, no, it's exactly like uh, the – what's the what's the priest privilege called? It's it's called the ministerial exception or I, – I don't know. Whatever it's called. Um, but, yeah, it's exactly like that. Because, I mean, you have some prosecutions where, you know, if the confession is a confession made to the priest – you cannot bring that evidence in because it's exactly um, just like the attorney client privilege. Um, you can't disclose it uh, under any circumstances, really. Um, so, yeah. All that on law and order. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I love law and order because I always make, you know, the criminal defense attorney just look like either number one clueless or number one, just the most evil guy that you could imagine. So, I mean, yeah. Hey, Zach, just while you're here, I need you to settle something for us. I know, I know you're a big fan of the, the Bobcast. Uh, I appreciate you, you know, viewing. And, oh, my gosh. Uh, I know where this is going. Do not. I know you've seen a couple of these head-to-heads, you know. And really, I, I, I've been, you know, kind of slandered. Slandered, that's a legal term, right? Yes. Yeah, I've been slandered. Been slandered. 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 slandered means uh, – so slandered means spoken word. So people have spoken bad things about you. You Definitely also have libel, which is when they write bad things about you. I've been libeled and slandered, okay? Gotcha. Uh, my choice on one of these major topics. I want to know what you think. And if you had to eliminate one from the face of the earth forever, sausage or bacon? It's bacon. Like, how is that even a question? Because sausage is much more versatile than bacon, first of all. Not only do you have your sausage links for breakfast that, by the way, if you put maple syrup on those things, mm, delicious. Uh, sausages have a sort of reputation in Germany and all of those things kind of like that from the links part of it also. So, I mean, you can also make a meal that's similar to a hot dog with a sausage. You Maybe you touched upon this, but, you know, a, you know bacon is really just an accessory. You okay. Put it on a burger. Objection. Yeah. Objection. Coleman has, Coleman, has, Coleman has coached up the witness. No, he actually hasn't. We have not talked about that. I do because remember this watching is the that. exact yeah. same yeah. argument. I don't appreciate being uh, slandered like you just slandered me. No. Okay. <laughs> you have coached the witness. If it pleases the court, I would like to object, Zach. Now, uh, hold on, Zach. The stain. The most important question I have for you, Zach. What is your stance on aliens? Oh, yes. yes. Are they here? Have they been here? I mean, we can all agree that there's, there's got to be aliens out there. But are, are, have we seen aliens uh, encounter Earth? Uh, what's your thoughts? I mean, do I think they're out there probably, given how big the universe is? Is there some other form of life? Most likely. We don't even know like 0.1% of what the universe is by our observations of it. Uh, as far as aliens go, 
Cole's the bigger of the conspiracy theorists between us on aliens. Um, like, you know, I, I, I see things, you know, like Bigfoot or Loch Ness Monster, you know, things that are taking pictures of. Like, Loch Ness Monster is probably a real thing. Like, Both that's just, that's a big something in that lake. I mean, I, I could buy that. Uh, as far as aliens go, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not always one to jump on the whole, the government's hiding something from us. Oh, but, I thought he was with me. But, but, with no, me. But, but, you know, we can, here, do I think they have something? Yes. I, I, I think that they have gotten something that they could not explain at least more than a few times. You just go to Area 51 and know that. Um, so, I mean, until they unseal whatever it is that they have, um, I believe they've got something, yes. What that is, I don't know. Is Boy, it a flying is... saucer? Is it a form of life? You know, whatever it is. I think it is something that they cannot explain, which is why they can't, you know, just do a hearing on it and do testimony in a congressional hearing and tell us what it is. So do I oh, think yeah. they're hiding something? Yes. And that's clear from what Area 51 actually is. But what that is, I don't know. It, it you know, there is it there is. an explanation for it? Probably not. There it but is. They're never going to unseal anything and actually tell us until we, the people, take the power back. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Power of the people, Zach. I'm with you. Yes. Make America. Wait. Sorry. Well, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess, I guess you guys got the aliens. All right. I'm glad we settled that, actually. I'm glad that we went down that road. Me too. I, I feel better. Buy a win. <laughs> All right. Well, Zach, can we bring you back again for yeah, man, I'd, more questions? I'd love to do some head to head sometime. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get to do that today. I think we can make that happen. We will. Right. I think we well, can. We, make that yes, I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying that you have to make me an honorary member or anything, but I mean, yeah, I just would have liked to do head to head. So, I mean, I could at least be the more reasonable of the two Ramsey brothers who could give you an actual explanation. Thank you. <laughs> what do you, Thank you. Hey, what do you prefer? Ask him the poll question. I, that's just what I was getting ready to ask. Oh, yeah. how, how'd the poll turn out? Oh, I won. Won. How about later, Zach? I'm glad you brought that up. We're well, I, voted in the, I voted in the poll. Before the night's over. What was it, like 52-48 or something? Yes, it, it was 51-49. Like we'll get that. Hey, that was close. close. Zach, watch the ball cast later when we put it up. I'm going to have a whole segment about that. Oh, They're we're not going to put it up. We're not going to put it well, up. Well, Cole, here's, here's the crazy thing. Now that they've seen who your brother is and they know how articulate and eloquent he is, sure. they're always going to vote for you now. Yes. They, they know exactly where you come from. So yes. you're officially the new favorite of the podcast. Uh, was it by your doing? Not all of it Partially. because I'm here. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to take the mantle on, dude. You're going to have to. You're going to have to lead. You're going to have to go forward and put the dang team on your back um, wow. until the day is that you decide to split off and do your own podcast because I think that's how most of these go, right? That There's always the – I've got a million names, and I'm telling you right now, after having you on, Bald Brothers is the next freaking podcast. I'm just telling you. Aaron, you like the Fast Brothers, the Bald Brothers. <laughs> Rick, do you want to start our own? Let's you know, go. The reason I would watch that is to see Zach and and hit, listen to that guy more. I'll, I'll just put it that way. I've got a lot of fans. Yeah, you know? he, he's probably not wrong, but hey, Cole's got enough fans in his own regard, so I, I'll, I'll give him that. I'll, I'll give him his due. Um, he won a poll without my help, so that's oh, something. you helped. You yeah, helped. he only had at one Cole, vote. At Coleman, at Coleman Y Ramsey, at Coleman Young Ramsey. That, that, those were all the votes. It was all <laughs> that had no followers. <laughs> all these weird names that seem to be the same exact thing. Yeah. Quick question. It was the Russians. We all know this. But quick question. Zach, would it be legal if I did that? Would it be legal? Yeah. I mean, there's no. You're exactly right. It would be legal. What is law would forbid you under the First Amendment from creating multiple email accounts and no voting law. in a poll? Exactly. Exactly. I mean, would the results of the poll be jeopardized? Yeah, but it's I, not, I like if it. nobody can prove it, then does it really matter? What is jeopardized? I think is what you meant to say. That's what I said. Yeah, jeopardy. I said jeopardize. Oh. <laughs> I went over his head. I think it so. Did. <laughs> <laughs> Can y'all, if I turn this camera, can y'all see my cat over here? 
Oh, Gizmo. Yes. Giz Giz. She's just laying over here chilling while we're doing this. She's she's a good girl. I'm a big fan. <laughs> she's the best cat. I know none of y'all like cats, but. Nope. Mm -mm. Hey, one great thing about cats, you can shave them. You can. Shave old Gizmo <laughs> down, Zach. That's not going to happen. I couldn't do that to her. <laughs> yeah. She'll go bald eventually. Zach, wow. 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 <laughs> Thanks for coming on, Zach. No problem. Thanks for the invite, y'all. Um, I can come back anytime. As y'all know, all you got to do is text me, send me the info, and then I'm right here. We'll Yo. be here. Till the all next right. time. We'll be in touch. Love you, Zach. Love all you, right. Zach. Love y'all. Have too, a good podcast. Bye. See you, dude. All right, man. First guest on the podcast. Hey, best of... segment yet. Best segment yet. Hey, Lots he's, of good information. He's the fan's favorite guest so far. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt. For sure. Guest of the year. We got we got one more segment tonight on the podcast. And I know I don't wanna I don't wanna like bring it to an end. And fans, I know you don't want it to come to an end. Ugh. But um we have actually I guess we have two. Um Two more segments. Uh, this is a new segment called What's Up Your Mask? <laughs> um, we, uh, we've been talking today about, uh, you know, when, uh, when you wear a mask, um, it's hard to communicate um, with people just because they, you, they rely so much on, on your mouth and on, on everything below your eyes. So, like, we're really going to have to as teachers, we're going to have to like communicate with our eyes. Okay. Um, so we're going to play, we're going to play a little game. What's up? What's up your mask? I'm going to put this mask on. Can you guys hear me clearly? Nope. Yep. Okay. I'm going to put this mask on. Um, we're going to go three rounds. I'm going to make a series of faces. Okay. Um, the member of the bog who can guess my face or I guess who gets the most right answers of what face I'm making will win the first installment of what's up your mask. Okay. Um, so are we going to, are we going to count down and say it at the same time? I think what I would like you to do instead of saying it, because sometimes it's hard to kind of like explain the face that someone's making, you know what I mean? I think <laughs> you could draw it if you wanted to. Yes. Oh, you could draw it. Okay. Um, or you could just make the face back to oh, me. Okay. And then I will pull the mask down and reveal what face I am making. I like Don't it. Don't cheat, Rigsby. So. Ah. Don't look at my face. <laughs> okay, so why don't you guys put your hands up in front oh, of there me? There we go. There you go. Okay, that'll work. Okay, so round one. What's up your mask? Are you doing the face yet? <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the face. You're doing the face right now? Mm-hmm. Uh. Damn. All right. Really? Oh. All right. Three, two, one. No, oh, he was – you didn't – no, that's cheating, Randy. That was cheating, Cole. You didn't go you anyways. You waited. I nope. missed it anyways. We both got it wrong. That's true. Okay. So, I didn't even think duck face was that a kissy face I saw? Yeah, yeah, duck face, bro. It was kissy face. I, I thought the eyebrows were squinted, so I was like, is he mad? Like, they weren't, like, real bad, but. Man, it, was it was duck lips. Mm. All right. And that's one we're probably going to get a lot from people around the around the school, you know? Absolutely. I can't well, tell you how many people walk up to me and go, all the time. Yep. And, you know, that's how we do – I think our next bog That's kind of how we greet each other in the bog anyway, you know. True. We go up to each other and we just – you know. Yeah. Very, uh, very European. We're a very European organization. Um, okay. Two. Next round. One, two. Uh, hold on. Three. Zero, zero. Two. One. Are you making the face? Mm-hmm. Okay. Boy, this is tough. You look exactly the same. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's tied. It's tied. Well, all right. This is all right. The, hey, there's something fishy going on. That's all I know. 
You got it right too. Yeah, How about that? Oh, you oh. were right. Oh. You shouldn't have said anything because I thought that was your time. I got integrity, okay? That's fair. Hey, I appreciate that. Okay, so score is one nothing, Riggs. I got to have this oh, one. You tie it up. up. Yeah. Okay. God, hey, I'll tell you what. This is ridiculously hard. It looks exactly the same. I, I can't, can't even tell your face changes. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, man. Riggs, you're really good at this. Riggs wins. Score of two to one. First installment of What's Up Your Mask. Here's the deal. I think you're going to be an excellent communicator when it comes to dealing with the children. Well, the it's rest really of us. When, when it's just mouth expressions, you know, you don't think about the mouth being the cue, but like, you know, I'm good, better at like eye movements, you know, like, squint, you know, but when your eyes stay the same, that's tough. That is tough. Yeah. It was hard. It was hard to not make <laughs> these faces. <laughs> Okay, now we have one more segment. So, obviously, we got to discuss some current <clears throat> events. Um, oh, bald is beautiful. Bald is beautiful. I thought I saw that. Was that on Twitter? Were they talking? There was a lot of. Was it hashtag bald is beautiful? I think. I got this. I got this off CNN. Okay, okay. CNN. Yeah, this so, is yeah, CNN. I, um, I heard a lot of people saying that as, as I was walking around the school today. So. Wow. Well, huh. yeah. I think that's I think that's going to be pretty common this year. Yeah, actually. it's seasonal um, for sure. Um, for sure, I think it pops up in the the summer, the, kind of the end of summer, and last until uh, the following summer. Yeah, uh, so. yeah I agree. Um, and you know, I can't blame them. Yeah, I can't. Um, we got some big news today. Uh, all in the last twenty four hours. Um, obviously, the old. Uh, 2020 college football season now those of us here in the the great midwest or the south or whatever oklahoma is um are still going to kind of have our college football season um the big 12 will still be in action but big super heavy hitter conferences like the big 10 pac 12 are out so let's say that for whatever reason the whole college football season gets called. Okay. It's done. What would be the college football tradition you would miss the most? Hmm. You know, you know, as a, as a Sooner fan, you know, the, 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 the things that kind of pop out to me, you know, obviously are, are the rivalry games, you know, obviously Bedlam's always a big deal. And, you know, OU Texas might be one of the, it's, it's at least top five, top four, top three, you know, it, it's up there as far as biggest rivalries in, in all of sports almost, or in all of college football at the very least. And, uh, you know, you, you just think of all the different rivalries that there are in college football, you know, you got the, the Michigan versus Ohio state, you got Florida and Georgia, you got, uh, you know, all these, all these big time rivalries and, and, you know, being able to kind of talk crap to each other, you know, like I know, I know Zach's not on here anymore. Zach's a big OSU fan. And, you know, having that, that little bedlam rivalry uh, and where we can kind of argue back and forth and, and, you know, talk about who's the best and, you know, having the Heisman and debate and all the debates I think is, is what's going to be, be tough if, if that were to happen. Now, obviously, the Big Ten's canceled, so you're missing some of those good rivalries too. So yeah, yeah. some of some of the best rivalries, right? I mean, really. So, Cole, what would you miss? Oh, I have my own kind of little college uh, football tradition. You know, once we get into college football, that's like right in the middle of like high school football, and so you know, a lot of my Saturdays are spent, you know, kind of recovering from the previous Friday night and kind of resting because it's going to be another full week coming up and uh, and watching a little bit of film of the next opponent. But I do have me a one little special uh, tradition that I always do is uh, uh, for OU Texas, uh, you know, 
my wife follows college football kind of, but she always gets up for OU Texas. She's like really into the game and what's going on and stuff like that. But I'll usually order me a large pepperoni pizza from Marcos. Hey, I got that downstairs right now waiting on me. <laughs> Give me pepperoni a Magnifico. Uh, <laughs> yes, pepperoni magnifico. Yes, or give me a two liter of Mountain Dew, and I'll just kick back on the couch and slowly eat that pizza the entire like day, and I'll oh. drink like that whole two liter like the entire day, oh. and I'll feel terrible and I'll like almost vomit and poop my pants, <laughs> but it's a tradition and I can't stop doing it. So, I've yeah. got to buy some underwear that I don't mind ruining. I guess. <laughs> What do you got, Helton? What are you going to miss? I would miss, I mean, you know, I grew up all Oklahoma, so I would I would miss everything about Oklahoma football. But I think if we take that just completely out of the equation, I think the thing I would miss the most, Saturday night football on ABC, mm. curled up on the couch, you got your pizza, mm. you got your beer, I'm not suggesting to you underage folks that you should have those things. Non alcoholic beer. But we're we're of age, so we can do that. And just sitting on the couch, watching the game, ten thirty rolls around, you put on a Pac twelve game and just like Yes. Go to bed and snooze. Yeah. Oh, it's seven o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, that's Saturday night football. That that would be the thing that I think I would just – it'd kill the whole season for me. Yeah. yeah. I love, like, being on the couch and, and and watching the early games and, like, falling asleep for a nap and waking up in, like, the third quarter. And you're like, oh, this game's still on? Oh, cool. What's going on? I missed a quarter and a half. What's happening? Yeah. yeah. Hey, I'll, I'll throw one, one more out there because, you know, you brought up, like, those late night games. I love watching the Pac-12 like with their shootouts, but you know, the, the, my favorite things that I think about, uh, you know, as far as specific games are the upsets. Yes. And just like, you know, I like OU. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a, I graduated from there. I grew up OU fan, but you know, I love watching just the most random games, you know, like watching those late night Pac-12 games. I like watching a Tuesday night Mac. Yeah. Yes. Action. You Action, know? baby. Yes. And, and just like having having no dog in the fight and just, you know, some team gets down by 14 in the first quarter and I'm like, okay, I'm rooting for the underdog. Let's go. Make it, you know. Perfect. Yeah. I, the, the, the underdog stories and the upsets and, and that sort of thing, man, that's, that, that's probably another thing I would, I would really miss. Yep. I agree. Um, and I don't. I didn't want to end this on a down moment. I thought we would kind of. I thought we would kind of come up with like fun little things that would be like, oh, like Howard's Rock. But then it just turned into this thing where we were all sad about everything that was happening. <laughs> we're still holding on for hope. I uh, I have really messed this one up. Um, <laughs> hey, I tell you what. Here's what we'll do. Give me a blank oh, screen, Hill. Hey, just end it now. I know. Well, we'll I was gonna say before oh, do we, we have some comments. We don't have comments, but oh. this is going to be my reminder uh, that we have a section called comments from the peanut gallery. If you have comments or questions, send them to at bog country on Twitter. Uh, we will, we would love to answer your questions. Love to answer your questions. Okay. I got you a blank screen. Fantastic. You know, as the winner of the previous poll, uh, 51 to 49%, the people want to see more of Cole, okay? So I'm going to give you and what we're going to call Cole's comments right here. And, and you know, we're in some trying times, people. But I promise you, we're a strong group. We're a strong country. We're a strong planet. We're strong, bald people. And we can get through it. Are things going to be different? Yeah. Are things going to be weird? Yeah. But... Think of the positives. Appreciate those around you that you have. Be, you know, be happy you're alive. And, uh, you know, let's make the best of a bad situation. We're all here. We're all stuck in it. There's nothing we can do about it. But uh, we can definitely control our response to it. And we can control our attitudes about things. Don't give in to the negativity. That's all I have to say to you guys. Don't give in. Be positive. I love you, fans.
Thanks for uh, Cole's comments here. That actually worked. That actually was very nice until you shamelessly promoted yourself at the end. Got to plug um, myself. We'll keep our viewership up. But I will say, I will say to kind of echo Cole's comments, uh, you have at least three squirrely bald guys that love to put on a show and entertain. So that's at least something um, that you got to look forward to. So. Riggs, do you want to do the Riggs Roundup? Oh, cute. <laughs> no, you know, this is this is all about the bog. You know, I'm not an individual here. You know, I'm I'm just doing what's best for the bog as a group and, and, and for our bog country, you know. I'm not going to try to step out and make it about me at this time, so. I'm just giving people what they want, Riggs. You know what I mean? You're right. The You're people sure. spoke. Yeah. I mean. They're our fans. You know, that's one thing we'll do. Yeah. No, yeah. Well, it's been it's been, it's been episode number five. It's been yeah. episode five. <laughs> shout, um, shout out to our guest, Zach Ramsey. Yes, hey, and follow uh, him on Twitter too. If you got Twitter, yeah, you know he's ever committing crimes yeah. out in Custer County. Hit him up. Hit him up. Committing crimes, right, Zach? Right. Oh, Zach. Uh, his Twitter is a uh, at. Z W Ramsey E S Q. One more time. It's at Z W Ramsey E S Q. E S Q standing for what? Help es Esquire. Esquire. Yep. As in a public lawyer. Mm -hmm. That was very nice of him. I that I appreciate that little addition. All right. Well, we will see. Uh, we'll see Bog Country next week, um, unless you happen to be lucky enough to see us first. Um, let's, uh, let's sing him out, gentlemen, shall we? All right, here we go. Closing time. We'll see you next week on the podcast.